Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing well. In today's tutorial, I've partnered up with Sephora in honor of the Sephora Savings event to present you all with this full glam makeup look. So every single product I'm using today, you can find in Sephora or on Sephora.com. So without further ado, if you wanna learn how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. So to begin, I'm using the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm to prep the skin with as you usually see me do. It starts out as a balm when I apply it and then transforms into an oil as it warms up to the skin, breaking down any dirt or makeup. And then when I add water to it, you'll see how it emulsifies into a cleansing milk before I begin wiping it away with a warm washcloth. I use this in nearly every tutorial, so it goes without saying that this is a must, must have product on my Sephora list. In fact, what I really love about this is that it comes in different sizes, so you can choose one based on you know, the budget you're working with, or if you just wanna try it out before committing to the full size. Overall, it's a staple product in my routine and something I recommend to anyone and everyone. Once I have this product removed, I'm then using the Clarins Double Serum to moisturize her skin with. Our model, Blue, has a, a combination skin type, so while the perimeter of her face retains moisture quite well, it's the center of the face around the nose she finds that she gets quite oily throughout the day. So I find this serum does a really nice job amongst many of my clients with all skin types. It's hydrating and lightweight, makeup blends beautifully on top of it, but it's also not overly heavy for those of you who have oily skin or have areas of their face that tend to get oily throughout the day. Next up, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer in those specific areas that get oily for her. So around the nose and a little in the center of the forehead and chin. This is such a classic OG primer. It doesn't overly dry the skin, but it really helps keep the shine down in the areas we apply it while also helping smooth out any texture or pores. So now that the skin is fully prepped, I'm going in with the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. This has been one of my go-tos for a while now. It looks incredible on just about everyone. It never feels heavy on the skin. It's buildable in coverage. It has incredible skin-loving ingredients. It leaves behind a luminous skin-like finish. And I find more than anything, it's just it's just reliable. You know what I'm saying? Like I never have to worry about running into problems with this foundation. And by the way, per usual here, I'm applying this on with a sponge. The one I'm using is from the Sephora collection called the Total Coverage Angled Sponge. I really enjoy using it because it has the rounder end to apply and press in the product, but the other end of it has a pointed edge with a flat surface, which you'll later see me use around the eyes where a bit more precision is needed. Now that the complexion is looking even and flawless, I'm using the Say Sun Melt Cream Bronzer to warm up the skin around the cheekbones, jawline, and forehead before heading back to the sponge to further blend this in. This cream bronzer is probably one of the newer products I've recently become a fan of and something I definitely recommend you look into during the savings event. By the way, while I'm working on this blend, let's break down the details of this Sephora savings event for those of you who don't know yet about the tiers and all that. So this event, is currently happening now. It began on April 5th and ends on April 15th. Rouge members have access right now with 20% off. VIB members have access starting on the 9th with 15% off. And insiders will also have access beginning on the 9th with 10% off. And of course, the last day to shop the event for all tiers is April 15th. You can shop as many times as you'd like within those dates. You can shop online with their multi-use code yay save. And I do wanna say the Sephora collection itself is 30% off. So if you aren't already, I highly encourage you sign up to become a Sephora insider. I'll put down the link below if you need it. And of course, as always, I'll put the links down below for all the products I use today since everything I'm using to create this look can be found in Sephora or on Sephora.com. So 
Yeah, okay, now that we have this cream bronzer blended in, I'm taking this Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer and using this to conceal and brighten around the eyes. I apply it on with a brush and then head over to the flat end of our sponge to really press in that product and blend it in. This concealer has been a favorite of mine ever since it was released last year. In fact, it's the one I use on myself. It's super full coverage. I find it doesn't crease so long as I set it with powder and it performs beautifully throughout the day. I also really love the shade range they have in this formula. They even have separate color correcting tones that are fantastic and have that same full coverage finish. And um, yeah, I, I just really highly encourage you to try this concealer out if you love a full coverage concealer. To set this into place, I'm using the one size translucent setting powder and pressing this on with a powder puff. I've been using this powder for a few years now, ever since they came out with it, and I still can't give it up. It's comparable to the Laura Mercier powder if you're a fan of that formula. And they have a few different tones in this formula if you have a deeper skin tone. But this powder locks in that concealer, preventing it from moving around or creasing. And you'll see me take whatever powder I have left and dust it onto the T-zone with a brush to finally set the foundation into place, but I'm being light-handed with this because I do want the skin to remain looking luminous and dewy. Next up, I'm taking this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray and using this to melt the powders into place. This adds a boost of hydration and it's an essential step in a routine to revive the skin and give it a little glow. It's at this point I can take a step back, analyze the skin and see where I want to go in and use the baking method. In this case, Blue has shared with me that she does crease pretty severely underneath the eyes and around the nose and mouth. So I'm using the same one size setting powder and generously applying this on specifically in those areas not only will this technique help keep these areas mattified and crease proof but once i wipe it off later on in this tutorial you'll notice a subtle brightness this leaves behind which complements and strengthens her nose and cheek contours beautifully To begin on the eyes, I'm taking this cream formula from this Patrick Ta Beauty Cream and Powder Blush Duo and using a very thin veil across the lid. So I lay down a small amount of product and then lightly diffuse out the edges. In fact, I'm using so little of this product that it almost shears out to look like a light purple or pink. But the purpose of this is to act as an anchor for the burgundy plum powder we place on top. It's at this point that I now take the powder formula of the same blush duo and start packing it on top of that cream. Don't be afraid to be heavy handed with this step. We wanna make sure that this pigment is fully saturated onto the lid so we get that high impact effect, especially with this kind of color. I don't know about you, but I love a burgundy eyeshadow moment. So I thought this would be a great way to showcase another product I absolutely adore, which are the Patrick Ta blush duos. I've been raving about this shade for a little while now so using it as an eyeshadow is another way to get the most out of it and even though it, it can be a little intimidating using such a bold color it can look quite wearable if done right so blend 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 is the key blending up and out now if you find that your shadow for whatever reason is looking patchy along the edges you can always grab your bronzer or your foundation powder to soften those out and that'll help out quite a bit but really take your time with this step you don't want to rush it. So as you see here, I've smoked out the lower lash line with that same shade and using a liner brush to really pack that pigment in at the lash line, which makes a great start to this dramatic eye. Now what I'm going to do is grab this Urban Decay eyeliner pencil in the shade Love Drug and running this through the waterline. I chose this shade because it's a deep wine metallic color that I think adds to this color story. Of course you can use any color you'd like, but I personally wanted something different than, you know, let's say a black eyeliner and I love how this turned out. So moving right along, I'm using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and running this through her bottom lashes. 
This is one of my favorite mascaras of all time. And although I would usually run this through the top lashes as well, she does have lash extensions and I don't wanna compromise those. But if you don't have extensions, get in there with this mascara and really coat those lashes well for that dramatic effect. After this, I'm taking this shade here from the Makeup by Mario Master Metallics Eyeshadow Palette and dusting this right on top of the lid. This is a quick and easy way to add dimension to the eye makeup and get that razzle-dazzle effect, but without having to go in with a full-on glitter. It's glam and, and sparkly, but still quite wearable. From that same palette, I'm picking up this shade here with a detailed brush and popping that right into the inner corner. This was unplanned, but the best things always are. I wanted to add in another color to this look and I think this bronzy gold adds a little something extra, which is another reason I enjoy having this palette. You can use these pigments alone as is or as toppers that you add onto the eyeshadows you use. All right, so I'm gonna complete the other eye off camera and then begin wiping away the baking powder I've let sit here. As you can see, it leaves behind a beautiful highlight, but more importantly, it's locked that concealer into place. Even up close in, in you know, 4K footage, there's not a crease to be found and it will remain this way throughout the complete wear of the makeup. For blush today, I'm using this House Labs Color Fuse Blush in the shade Pomelo Peach and dusting this onto the apples of her cheeks. This blush is a soft coral shade that I think ties in the color story here between the complexion and the eyeshadow and of course the lip that we next create. And what I like about their blush formulas is that they're matte. So you have the option to add a shimmer highlighter on top or leave it matte and shimmer free. Next up, I'm using the Makeup Forever Artist Skin Fusing Highlighter in the shade Anywhere Glimmer and popping this onto the highest points of her face like the cheekbones, the cupid's bow, and down the center of her nose. This has quickly become one of my most used highlighters over the last few months because you see, it doesn't look overly glittery in person. It adds that beaming glow but it's more of a glow from within highlight rather than a, wow, you, you have a lot of glitter on your face. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they have a few different shades in this, but this shade is definitely my most used. For lips today, I'm starting out with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in the shade Mocha and using this to trace her lips with today. I'm including this shade because it's one I use on myself all of the time and it's currently in my basket to purchase during the savings event because I want another one for my kit that I can use on my clients. It's the perfect uh, nude shade that pairs beautifully with most lipsticks and glosses, including the one I'll be using today, which is the Fenty Gloss Balm Heat in the shade Fenty glow. It's a sheer rose nude that's truly universal for all skin tones. In fact, I didn't even need to use a, a lipstick underneath this because it adds the perfect amount of color while also adding that high shine glossy finish that I love so much. This lip combo is perfect for today's look and I couldn't be happier with it. All we got to do now is take the one size on till dawn setting spray to set and lock this makeup into place, which makes this the final step in how I created this glamorous look on our naturally beautiful model. There we have it kids, I hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at Painted by Spencer. And until next time, I'll see you soon.